Like a few days ago I said that Netflix cancelled The Heart of Invictus. Meghan Markle, her outrageous demands turned it into the Meghan fashion show instead of it being focused on the veterans. The total for Invictus fashion show was a staggering $538,000. What a disgusting theft of money that could have and should have gone to the veterans directly. Afterwards, there were a few of those on the Invictus board that were questioning the foundation over some of the Sussex's expenses for their attendance. Also, word has it that the Harkles were drawing the money from a British government office that funds British charities. From what I remember, that offers cut some ties with them over this. According to insiders, Netflix CEO Greg Peters was involved in Megan stealing the veterans' money and splitting it 50-50. There was a type of oversight committee in the UK government that helped with organization and organizing events specifically for veterans that were involved with, among other things, Invictus. After this last Invictus event that became Megan's fashion show and the amount of money that was spent on her, many questions were raised about why the money was spent on her. Also, her clothing receipts were revealed. The thing that pissed me off about Megan's entire appearance at the Invictus Games was her over-the-top fashion and flaunting of expensive wares. When most of these veterans had to struggle just to get the money to get to the Games, most of them don't get the benefits they're entitled to, and most of them live on less than $800 a month, and this charlatan is rocking up in $35,000 necklaces and $10,000 outfits. A comment about a tweet of a person who noted one single pair of earrings she had, 50 Invictus Games, were worth $440,000, plus adding the Saudi diamonds, the jewelry from Diana's collection, and that pinky ring. She's made quite a collection for herself. Another post showing a video of Harry shunning real veterans who wanted a quick photo with him. It seems that the only footage Netflix got was Megan. I thought it was strange how a non-serving, non-veteran, non-UK resident was making any speeches. I don't know everything about how charity representation works but I know enough that you don't take money away from it to clothe yourself. The question is why did the CEO think it a good idea to have a contract with the Harkles and Netflix, in the first place? Like us all, they too had full knowledge that the Harkles were using the games as an opportunity to grab pound OOS for themselves. Help for Heroes saw the writing on the wall and severed all links with Invictus a full year ahead of it being staged, due to the involvement of these two disgraceful ex-royals. The signs continued to present themselves when Haui brought into the event his investment company better up to flog their mental health care packages. Unbelievable that Invictus continued associating with a pair of grifters knowing what opportunists the pair of them are. How sad for Invictus participants. I hope someone else will step in and bring back the importance of the games that has been shadowed by the Harry and Meghan games. This is why Terry's no photos of their children. Because everything is about Meghan. These veterans deserve the world. I hope Netflix steps up and helps them, instead of lining Meghan's pockets from garbage scraps.